my, my two biggest highlights of the year were, were created through a very bad qualifying positions. So the first race here at Hockenheim, I was 18th on the grid and the same at Oschersleben, I was 18th on the grid. Uh, both races, the one at Hockenheim, I managed to come through and finish in sixth place and the one at uh, Oschersleben, even better, came through to finish fourth. And, and that was, they were highlights for me. When, when you have a problem, a mechanical problem or, or a mistake in qualifying, you, you end up 18th on the grid. Nothing's expected of you in the race. So it gives you a bit of a free reign to just experiment and just to try and do your best you can with no expectations. And to finish sixth and then fourth at Oschersleben especially. Uh, in the difficult wet conditions there was, was an incredible result. So they're my two biggest highlights really because you know, I'm a racing driver but I'm, I'm a real racer. I love racing, I love overtaking and that's what I had to do in them two races and that's why I enjoyed them so much. So for me, they were the two biggest achievements I would say of the year, yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited about next season and, and so are so is everybody else in the DTM. You know, that's the reason we, we had a, a deal sorted so early. I think with the talk of a new manufacturer coming in, what drivers are going to do, where they're going to go, I think uh, the team, HDB, Mercedes and myself, wanted to try and uh, get rid of all that talk and, and gossip about what I was going to do and want to just t t commit, you know, commit my future in DTM to Mercedes so we can then focus on developing a good car and, and going forwards as much as we can. And uh, we did that relatively early, so when the testing came along, I was obviously the natural choice to start testing the new car. And it's, uh, it's quite different to, to the current car we have. You know, there's a lot of standard spec parts for all the manufacturers, which should make it very close, uh, not only between the cars we've got at the moment, but BMW coming in, it should make all the three manufacturers very close together from the start, which is what we want. Um, as you say, with three manufacturers, it changes your race strategy. You've got new drivers, new teams. So it's going to be really interesting and really exciting. It's the biggest exciting uh, start to a season that we've had in a long time, yeah. Hi, yeah, to all my uh, budding racing fans out there, thank you very much for your support through 2011. It hasn't been my best year on the track, but I'm hoping to put that straight and hopefully you'll be backing me all the way in 2012. See you then.